So out of all the creatures that I brought to extinction, absolutely none of them can gather berries. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of terrible. I it didn't even realize that. So berries and stone are the two things that I need a lot of right now, and mainly narco berries, obviously, to be taming things. So I think what I want to do is maybe try to, I don't know, I, I'm kind of almost tempted to just knock out a parasaur and use that to gather some berries. I don't know, because we have like a little bit of narcotic going here, and I have the rest of this meat just about to spoil. Let's see how much we have, just over 100 narco berries here, and currently we have 16 narcotic, which is just crazy, it's a crazy amount. Uh, I have also thrown out cyanide over here, and he's helping me collect a bunch of stone, because stone gets reduced inside these guys' inventories. Plus, I mean, look at that base weight. That is insane. I don't think I pumped anything into that, so this thing's ridiculously cool. Also, super awesome saddle. Forgot about that. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, those... This guy is obviously being fantastic. I've just been going around gathering a bunch of stone. I want to maybe try to make like a little stone hut. And I feel like I might want to make it over there by that little waterfall thingy. Um, so maybe let's get going with some of that actually. I think I have it already, right? Where is it? Where is it? That's what I'm looking for. And there we go. So I want to go ahead and craft a bunch of stone foundations. I'm going to just make a simple little circle for the moment. So I'm going to need six of these. Uh, am I gonna have enough for all this? Probably not. Probably gonna run out of wood and thatch, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna need 12 of these, and that's basically how you make a, a little small circle. So we'll go with 12 of those. I... Did I... Oh, wow! Actually, I have the perfect amount, I guess. Alright, cool. Sweet. Let's go ahead and get this stuff ready, then. Normally, I would be excited about all the levels that you're getting from this, but it's gonna be a long time before I even bother leveling up here. Um, I guess one thing I could probably do to help with that is maybe try to make a sleeping bed thingy. Uh, where are they? Sleeping, sleeping pod. There we go. Because these things, the vanilla version of this, by the way, not just the S Plus version. This is just a slightly, uh, more usable for me. Uh, but these things can give you insane XP. You can log out inside of them and they will just give you a ton of XP. So I can actually probably make... Oh, I need the tech replicator. All right. Well, it's not even that expensive, to be honest. So as soon as I have a tech replicator, uh, I'll probably go ahead and make one of those and just log out on that. And I'll probably log on maybe a few days later and be max level, which is great. So uh, let's get going with this. Maybe put you, like, right around there-ish. This is probably just going to be temporary. I'll maybe move this at some point. Um, maybe expand it a little bit. Uh, again, don't really like to go too all-in with base building in this series. Um, I'm pretty sure even in the island saga, we completely brushed over, like, this giant compound that I made. I pretty much just, like, built up walls all around me, which took me such a long time. And it's funny, like, when you do things like that and they take a long time... It's, it's usually good if you can get some video footage out of it. I didn't get any video footage out of that at all. So, uh, let's see. Boom. Let's grab this. I want to chuck that over there. Let's just pretty much grab everything, I guess, at, at this point. Um, I don't think anything's... Yeah, these things are not lit up right now. So, not really much point of keeping them here. We'll move all the resources here in a minute. How long do we have on that? we got like freaking two and a half hours. That's awesome. All right. So, guys, um, well, welcome to episode two. Uh, I want to start off by getting a Dodic or something and maybe something for berries. So, we're going to be doing that first. And then maybe we'll get into taming maybe a Snow Owl later if I can find a good level one. If not, maybe I'll just tame a couple low-level ones. I'll probably do that either way. But, um, yeah, that's, that's the rough plan for today's adventures. Seriously, Parasaur? Can you, like, can you, okay? Can you go over there? <laughs> Buddy, like, you're in the way. Like, what are you doing? Who said you could be part of this video? Um, all right. So, let's just get some of this crap out. Uh, we'll just dump it all onto the hot bar. Um, okay. I was going to put that in the very center because I thought that would be cool and aesthetic. But then I realized that I'd end up setting myself on fire tons. So, we'll just put that there. For the moment, we'll just put that there. Uh, this thingy can go maybe here. And then this little S plus crafting bench can go there. And then we got a campfire, which I can put maybe like here. Perfect. All right. So I'll get some walls up at some point. Just a nice little base camp for the moment. Things are slightly more organized, which is great. Um, let us go ahead and just dump all of this stuff in here for the moment. And I have my spoiled meat now, so I can get all of those narco berries crafting. Narco berries, not narco berries. Narcotic. There we go. Oh, that's the campfire. What am I thinking? Great. 
I'm just apparently dumb here today. Uh, let's go ahead and just pull a thousand. There we go. Amazing. <laughs> we can only make 23. Sweet. All right. Um, that can probably go into the other thing. Just got to kind of organize everything for the moment. So I think another thing I'm going to need is a fridge, but I don't know exactly how expensive that is right now. So let me see. Uh, ref. Um, oh, I could probably manage that actually. Yeah, I could make that as soon as I go out to the uh, wastelands and grab some of that polymer stuff, whatever that stuff's called. So I guess we can maybe quickly do that right now. And then I'll come back for the bags on the ground. Don't let that freak you out, guys. I'm totally going to come back for them. Um, all right. So did I mention hit the like button if you enjoy this one? We're back. I'm really happy. I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. We got so many things going on. I got so many things running through my mind right now. All right. So, yeah, you can kill these things. They give um, corrupted nodules or something. I can't remember what they're called. Something like that, um, which is the exact theme as Organic Polymer. So it's really perfect. All right. We got like 44 already. That is just a regular Rex. There was a Pteranodon somewhere. Oh, I forgot about gas bags. Those things are good. Uh, those things are really good for weight, actually. Let's go ahead and kill this one as well. And they actually also increase the stack size for the organic polymer and this stuff as well. So now that stacks up to 20, as it used to stack up to 10. So a lot happier about that. I mean, definitely, like, higher stack sizes in Vanilla Arc is going to push people away from wanting to use stack mods, which is something that I definitely considered for this series from the very start, but decided not to put in. So I'm happy that I didn't do that. It's just nice that uh, they're finally giving some love to stack sizes in terms of like vanilla arc though. So let me see. Even though that's been out a few months, I generally would play with a stack mod. So I mean, I'm really only reaping the benefits right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't have anything else that's useful in there. Oh, I do have some spoiled meat maybe. Yeah, we do. Sweet. All right. So let me grab some of the stuff. We probably are going to have to do a transfer gun to get all that stuff in. Unless maybe I can carry it all. I can like almost carry it, but I, I won't. We'll just wait for the moment. And let me have that. Okay. You know what? Let's just craft a transfer gun and just do this really quick and just clean up this mess. Uh, there we go. Transfer gun. Amazing. Okay, let's get all this stuff over there. So, uh, yeah, just a little bit of an update on the little base area and the grind that we're doing. Um, I'll get a couple of these narcotics going, make some trank arrows, and maybe knock out a trike or something. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe a trike would be better than a stupid power sword because I hate those things. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes when we have some more stuff to do. Okay, so I think I know what I want. I'm going to get a stego. This is a level 45. Not a super high level, but I really don't need something insane right now. Eventually, I'll, I'll get something better maybe for the berries, unless I want to go straight into crops at some point. I don't know which way I'm going to go, to be honest, actually. I might end up getting into the crops really soon. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to need uh, a decent berry gatherer, and stegos are honestly really, really good. So stego is a perfect choice for this. Um, where do I want to try and tame it, though? That is the question. Let me, let me like, drop you, like, right here. We'll figure it out. Um, I got to keep my guys on passive. Let's land, and then passive for everybody. Um, all right, let's see. So I've got 43 arrows. That should be more than enough. Don't need to trap this thing because stegos are pretty slow. Um, let's just start out here then. Come on, buddy. Although I'm pretty slow too. Am I going to be able to outrun this thing? Maybe just a little bit. I didn't pump any speed in because generally I don't bother. Oh, yeah, you can get... Oh, my God. I forgot you can get freaking headshots in stegos. Ah, oh, dude, that makes this so much easier. All right. Ooh, okay, this thing's probably going to swing at me. Oh, we seem to be okay. All right, let's see. Yeah, he's getting really close. Let's just jump ahead just a little bit. And he's going to probably turn around and run. Oh, there we go. He's going, or she, or whatever. Uh, how do we get down here? I'm going to run down this way. All right, so get this thing all teamed up. I should survive this. There we go. Just a little bit of damage. Get this thing all teamed up on some Mejo Berries. And then we'll use it for some berry gathering. That's the main thing. Like, I definitely didn't want, like, a super high level because I don't want to wait around for absolutely ages 
just to tame a stego. Oh, oh, hello, raptor. Oh, okay. Could you potentially be a crafter? You look like one. I don't have any bolas. I didn't make any. I got too, uh, I got too distracted by the fact that uh, I'm kind of OP with all my creatures. And then this happens. Let's see. Um, I could probably get you some meat. I don't think you hit my stego, but you better not have. If you did, then I'm going to murder you. Um, I don't think he did. Let's see. Uh, did I, I think, do I have metros on me? I have just a little bit. I'll just grab a couple more though. So yeah, level 45 stego. We just need to build a saddle. Pretty standard though. I think he built it in the smithy to be honest. Um, and I don't think it requires that much stuff. Uh, medjo berries. Boom. Let's just drop in some extra just, just in case. And you did get hit. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, it's still going to be, you know, a crappy stego anyway. Um, <laughs> all right, so it's like 3% tamed. It's going to need some more mejos, I would say. Um, so, yeah, I'll bring you guys back. Blah, I'll bring you guys back once we have that thing all up and tamed. And then the next creature I need is a dodic. So maybe in the meantime, I'll take a little look around, see if I can find a decent level dodic. Okay, so I found the dodic I want. Um, luckily it's not being, oh great, now it's being attacked by the stupid scorpions. It looks like it's friends were messed up. Okay, I didn't pick it up great. Uh, let's see. So level 140 is pretty freaking good. It's gonna take a while to tame, but oh my, how did I not manage to pick it up right there? Face and see at the same time and I picked it up. Amazing. I'm gonna bring you home. Hey, there we go. Nice. All right, uh, sweet. I actually have the saddle on me and everything. All right, so I've got the Dodic sitting over in the little base area. I'm just going to quickly gather up quite a few Narco Berries if we can. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is perfect. There's tons of bushes around here as well, so this is a great place. Um, my plan is to actually just go straight for, uh, what are they called? Trank Darts? Because, I don't know. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe I'll see how many Trank Arrows it would take to actually knock out the Dodic. But I don't know. I figured I would actually go straight to Trank Darts. Oh my god, look at this. This is insane. All right, give me all of these. And I'll take that. And I'll take the seeds as well, just in case, because I might actually need them. Oh wow, I got like all four types. All right, perfect. So I'm going to gather up a crap ton of Narco Berries. And then once I'm satisfied with that, we're just going to turn them probably all into... Uh, narcotic because we definitely have a bunch of spoilt meat at this stage. I can't reach anything. Great. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. Let's get a rifle here. Boom. I should have enough for a few bullets. I'll just type in a thousand just to get all the stuff. Okay. We got maybe, yeah, 10 bullets. Amazing. All right. <laughs> I got to wait for the rest of this to uh, craft up. And I actually have a bunch of charcoal going over here so i'll just grab out all this stuff we could probably actually make a few trank arrows if i want to um maybe what i'll do is i'll mostly knock it out with the trank darts or, or the trank arrows even and then maybe when it's kind of getting a little bit towards the end i'll use the darts or something i don't know you see i don't want it to ball up because i don't know exactly how hard it is right now because it was fighting some scorpions so um yeah that's the main issue for me right now so uh dart Boom, and let's just type in a large number. Sweet and amazing. So that's given us 10 darts. Okay, how close is this? You know what? Maybe I'll just cancel that for the moment and just get going on the gunpowder. Sweet, and then we'll keep that in the queue. All right, so I'll take a couple of these and then turn that into trank arrows. Where is it? It's super far down. There it is. And then... We grab that and we're going to turn those into bullets and then darts. So uh, let me just type in uh, ooh, full as in rifle. Boom. Bang. And then, oh, wait, what? Oh, am I out of metal? Oh, no. I'm out of metal. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. Let's see. Don't have any more going. All right. Well, I guess I got to go around killing some stuff then. Um, but maybe for the moment, we might actually have enough stuff to do this. So I'll, I'll just go with it for the moment. All right. So give me that. Give me that. And, uh, let's pop that into there. Pop that onto the hot bar. All right. So where is this dodic? It should be around here somewhere. I saw it like a minute ago when I came down to this area. 
Am I being dumb? Can you guys see it and I just can't see it? I feel like it's definitely like in the open and I just can't see it. Oh my god. All right. Let me see. <laughs> so stupid. Let me just like, let me just get a little bit of a bird's eye view here or uh, I guess a wyvern's eye view. Um, where the hell did this thing go? It was here. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's hiding over here. All right. Perfect. So it's a 140. Shouldn't be that hard to tame. I'm just going to mainly hit the flesh. Obviously, if you hit the shell, you do less damage. Try and hit like the face or like the the back or the tail or whatever. Um, it is sometimes a little bit tricky to hit the face though when it's moving around a bunch, but they're pretty slow and you can just kind of like walk backwards like this. All right. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when this thing's fully tamed up. And then we might head out and try to get ourselves a lovely uh, snow owl or seven, maybe. Oh man, it's got a little bit of torpor. I guess that's probably due to the amount of uh, narco berries I pumped in. Yeah, I, uh, I went ahead and just accidentally fed like three more stacks when it was almost fully tamed. So yeah, that's exactly why it has torpor right now. Let's see. Oh my God, dude. Holy crap. That is insane. Oh, yeah, okay. No, oh, this is the stuff. Look at all that crystal. I am never going to need to gather crystal ever again. I'm dropping it right now. Don't worry. We're going to pick it up. Um, this is absolutely ridiculous, though. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at all the element dust as well. We're going to have enough to actually craft a couple pieces of element, which is going to be great. Let's see? So we're going to need it. We're going to need like 100 element, I think. Yeah, for the replicator. Something like that. Um... And once we have that, oh, I can't swing it the other way. Can I not? Okay. Let's drop that. Once I have all that stuff, then we can get going with, um, like we can make a cryo fridge at that point. Uh, what else can we make? Um, just a bunch of tech stuff, to be honest. I might end up making like a tech generator. Uh, cause like element on here isn't that hard as long as you get yourself an element gotcha. That's like the main thing, which is not an easy task anyway, but uh it should be pretty it should be pretty okay i i reckon that we're probably gonna get one um let me see let me bring over the basilisk that's probably gonna be the best way to actually grab all this stuff and put it away i think uh i should be able to fit it all into the basilisk or maybe i don't know the crystal's quite kind of heavy actually and i don't think the basilisk uh reduces weight on crystal so yeah, um, we have just a crap ton of stuff over here. I'm gonna craft all of that element dust into element for the moment. Um, and then I think I'll just store the rest of this. I mean, hopefully those tables come back. That's gonna be great if that does happen. That's not even working, is it? Wait, what? Okay, what? I guess it's not working. Maybe you have to manually do it? Probably. All right, cool. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna get going with the snow owls pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at that stage. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're in the snow biome now, and I'm looking for some snow owls. I've already killed a few of them. Uh, basically what we're looking for is... Oh, there's one right there. Hello. Where are you? 95. Okay. So, we're looking for low levels, like pretty freaking low, maybe 5 to 20-ish. And then we're also looking for a high level, or maybe a few high levels if we can actually manage that. Now, the reason why I want the low levels is because they're going to be easy to tame and I'm literally only going to use them for owl pellets. And the point of that is so I can actually feed my gotchas when I get some. Uh, the gotchas are kind of almost going to be essential to our whole journey here on this arc. So we definitely need to be focusing on getting a proper owl pellet uh, like collection going here. So um, I can't really see them up from the sky. So that's why I'm on the ground right now, in case you're wondering. So yeah, essentially we, we need to find these things and um, and tame like super high level and then a super low level. I've got a little basic trap on me. Oh, is that a level five? It's kind of hard to see because they move around quite quick. I think that, oh, level 15. Okay, we'll go for it. Um, so yeah, I've got like a basic trap on me here. I've got like uh, four regular like dinosaur gates, uh, the stone ones, because they don't get broken. You could use wood. And then I've got the actual, uh, like the doors for the gates as well. So. Um, it's a real simple trap. I mean, I think most people use these to trap Archies anyway. You can do it with three if you want. I just prefer to do it with four because, I mean, I didn't mind crafting four. <laughs> Let's see. So what you want to do is you want to just place them on a line like this and leave a little bit of a gap between at least a few of them because what you want to do is you want to lead the creature in, have this, the gate right here. Let me show you. Let me actually go ahead and just, these are the S plus ones, so they're automatic. So we're going to lead it right in, and then we're just going to go through here, and then we're either going to place the gate there or 
probably close it. And I would say we'll probably end up placing it first so I can get the stupid automatic thing turned off. So um, I need to probably kill that mammoth. I don't know if that snow owl is going to want to be my friend if that mammoth is still there. It looks as if it's attacking it. I don't know. Kind of looks like it's attacking it. Uh, there are quite a lot of wolves. Let me see. Okay, this might go bad. I might end up killing the snow owl. Hopefully I don't because that's a pretty good low level for me. Um, I'm probably going to use mutton to tame these things as well, by the way, because... Oh, I just walked right into that. Because sheep are just absolutely everywhere in this biome, and it's amazing. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll take out this little pack while the owl's over there. Okay. Let's see. I gotta, obviously... I might end up, like, one-hitting this thing, so we don't want that to happen. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. We hit the thing. Okay, that owl might actually end up killing the wolf. All right, let's go up here then. Uh, we are hungry. Oh, you know what? I have one piece of fur. This is all I could afford. So we definitely need to be holding on to some of that pelt. Um, I've got one piece of fur, so that should keep me slightly warmer than what I am right now. Hopefully. I do have a good amount of fortitude. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. We should be okay. All right. Oh, my boy needs to be on passive. All right. Uh, we might have to snipe that wolf. Uh, let's just put that there. Yeah, the wolf is still very much alive. It'd be great if I could get a headshot on it, because it would probably be like a one-hit kill then. Oh, my God. All right, come on, buddy. I love the implant, by the way. Like, the combination of these two... Oh, crap. Uh, the combination of these two ascension implants together looks really, really cool. I don't know. I think it looks amazing on the arm. Like the the little Rockwell kind of hologram thingy above the regular one. It looks really good. Uh, let me see if I can maybe piss this thing off without hitting it too much. You know what? I could just shoot it with one dart. All right. Ooh, run. Is he... Yeah, they don't really have a great... Oh, yeah, he can hit me. I remember when these things first came out, they were, like, really easy to tame because they couldn't really... Oh, you little... Okay. I see how it is. You got straight out. Love it. All right. Come here, buddy. Okay. Or you just do that. <laughs> this is what I... This is why I hate trapping creatures. It's just easier, though, so they don't potentially die. Uh, okay. Well, this might not go well, then. I guess I probably can't trap it because it's just going to be focused on my my dude right here unless i cryopod him actually that could work uh let's see let's just cryo him for the moment. i'm glad that i got the gender right people always get annoyed at me <laughs> whenever i say it's a him when it's a her i don't know i just say the word i don't really care <laughs> all right come here buddy but yeah when they first came out you used to be able to just like uh kite them around or whatever oh my are you seriously not in here i thought you were okay there we go are you gonna be in now Oh my god. It's been a while since I've trapped a snow owl, so this is not going well. Maybe I'll just sit right here. <laughs> this is seriously not going well at all. I'm like, oh yeah, like, I know what I'm doing. No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, come here, you little... Get into stupid trap, you little stupid pigeon. Come on. Oh my god. This is embarrassing at this point. Alright, let's do like a long run up. We'll get into the, into the little trap together. You ready? I'm gonna let you hit me. I don't even give a crap at this point. Just stay in here. Okay, we got him! Wow! Okay, I'll just cut out all the metal and I'll keep that bit in. And then I'll cut out me talking about this right now. That hit, but it didn't. That's fun. Oh my god. Alright, so yeah. Anyway, simple trap. Real easy way of getting them tamed. Obviously... Are you kidding? Obviously, in this biome, you know, you don't really want to let the creature fly away because there's so many wolves and it would just be too uh, dangerous to try and actually keep them properly trapped or whatever. Or trapped? Uh, protected, that's the word. Sweet, and you're out. Okay, so I got to find a sheep at some point. Let me go ahead and just... I want to take that. I want to take the hide because I'm probably going to need a crap ton of hide in this series because... I don't have any, like, Rex army saddles, so we're going to need to make those later on uh, once I get a good blueprint. If I get a good blueprint, I guess that's the that's the other thing. I'm pretty sure that my Rexes, my breeding Rexes, do have good saddles on them. I think that was one thing I I might have thought of while doing all this, because, you know, if, 
I'm allowed to bring the creature, but if the creature has a saddle, you best be sure I'm gonna put the best possible saddle that I have on them. At least, I maybe I did. <laughs> I don't know. We probably did that. I, I would imagine that I was smart enough to do that. Let me see. Um, Is that a sheep up there or is that a wolf? I feel like that's, that's a dead wolf. All right, I mean, I could just use regular meat, but mutton, you know, will obviously tame them quicker. I guess I could just use some prime meat by killing some stuff here. Yeah, we'll just do that. It's really easy to just laser beam everything. Um, so it shouldn't really take too many pieces. You know, I'll use the wyvern to actually harvest it. There we go. We got like five. Five's probably going to be enough considering uh, five times taming rates. Level 15. Yeah, this should be enough. All right, so that is one owl. Um, I, to be honest, I could probably just go with maybe taming a male and a female low level. Or, you know what? I mean, if we get if we get like a, a male as a high level, then we could just breed that. I forgot the prime. <laughs> we could just breed that with this one here. That could work, actually. That could be a smart way of doing this. Like, I, I, I do need a lot of them, but I guess saving darts and everything would be nice. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and put you into a Pokeball. All righty, so we're going to continue our search here because I need a high level. Uh, I do like Snow Owls. I'll probably end up using it quite a lot. It would be handy to have a high level, um, mainly, you know, to get around, but also to heal my creatures because uh, if they are a higher level, that means that they have the higher stam, which means that they can heal for longer and essentially, you know, be a really great creature to heal your... Uh, your armies with or whatever Let's see what level are you oh my god you're level five should i just knock that thing out there's another one down there they were not down there a few minutes ago was that level 15 all right let's just knock out that level five because that's a that's a female right there we might as well do this i mean to be honest is it even worth placing down the trap for this one i might be able to knock it out with just a few darts before it even actually gets very far if i could get you that would be great oh my god he's like right in my butt and i can't flap him away Okay, I did a little bit, apparently. Okay, we'll just do this. Oh, that didn't work. I thought I could pick him up there. <laughs> Buddy, stay away from my butt. I don't like it. I'm not into that. You s okay, you, you know what? You're, like, you're really annoying me right now. Can you maybe just... <sighs> this is the one. Hey, see, that's what you get. You make me waste a bullet, and I don't like you. All right, what do we got? You're the level five, right? Uh... Yeah, level five. And that is a male. And our other one's definitely female. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's worth, I mean, just a few darts to knock this thing out. Uh, let us quickly just reload this just in case we need that. And hmm, I'm, I'm thinking, is it best to just like, like they're not hitting each other. And once it goes down, I'm fine with it taking a little bit of like uh, damage. I don't really care about the taming efficiency or whatever i don't think i'll i did hit it it looked like i hit it maybe that dart is in it i feel like that is actually the dart right there so technically i did it oh oh my god i almost killed it by taking oh wow okay so they just killed him never mind never mind i didn't want it anyway i was just i was just looking <laughs> all right so snow owls we need to find a high level um i'm not sure how long this is gonna take so i'll maybe just search for another minute here with you boys and Oh, we got... Okay, never mind. It's dead. <laughs> uh, are we going to find one, like, immediately? If we do, that would be great. If not, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes if we can manage to find one. Or maybe it might be a few hours or days or weeks, whatever. We'll see. I'm just going to keep going until I find one. It's just going to happen. Level 10. Oh, my God. This is not going to go well. Okay, there's a level 130 over here. I think that might... I think that might work for me. Level 130 is pretty good. Uh... Now, I need to I need to kill everything first, though. Oh, crap. No, I didn't mean to hit right there. Okay, well, at least the owl's on me now. I could probably move away and potentially get this thing into a trap over here. I can place down the trap without having to dismount. I'm pretty sure. Okay, no. Now it's back on those guys. All right, never mind. Let's just go ahead and get this trap down real quick. Uh, so, exact same process. Is that... I feel like that's way too much of a gap. Yeah, he's going to get through there. Um, we'll maybe place it, like, right there. Eh, yeah, that'll work. That will work. And you go on the bar, and we put you on manual, and you go on manual, too, and we're all good to go. All right, so let's just get this uh, this owl in here. 
A 130 is pretty good. You know, I could search for hours and try and find something better. Uh, or I could tame this one right now and potentially get something better later on. We'll see. Like, I'll probably end up having to search this biome quite a lot uh, during the series. So I'll keep my eyes peeled for a better one. But for the moment, this will definitely... I thought that would hit. This will definitely do. Uh, are there more wolves coming in? Oh my god, I thought he was going to walk further that way. So I tried to lead it. All right, I guess that's my mistake for trying to be intelligent. All right, buddy, are you are you pissed at me then? Or are we good friends at this stage? Like, what's, what's going on? Hey, there we go. All right, let's get you into the trap. First try, first try. It's going to happen. Here we go. Boom. Let's close the trap and just keep him in here. All right, and now we're good and we can get out. Probably could have done that without taking any damage, by the way, but I, I'd rather not risk another uh, fiasco like the last time. <laughs> so yeah, level 130, like literally 30 seconds after I ended that last clip, we just found that guy. So I'm pretty happy about that. And you are a female. Oh, it looks as if you can kind of get out, but he definitely can or she. I literally just said female and then said, she, and then said he. It's like, I don't know. It's just, I know so many people in the world do the exact same things. That, so don't even lie to me. You little, I was gonna call him a bastard. I'm gonna call it a bitch. <laughs> seriously wow okay well that sucks uh is that gonna go out where is oh it's coming back okay um i could probably salvage this okay uh let's maybe oh no oh no 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 i forgot that oh stupid gates on automatic i hate it i hate the automatic gates i need to get that stupid command thing that you can do in s plus to stop them from doing that like, I love S plus and all, but like, that's the one most irritating thing that I should fix, and I never have fixed it. Let's go with the same process as last time. Just to make him de aggro from my wyvern, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, maybe should I fix the gates first? Eh, whatever. We might be able to get it in. Uh, without. Or get it tamed without doing that. Uh, okay. Alright, here we go. Come on. All right, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. That's the correct one. He's like literally incapable of hitting me right now. <laughs> so this is great. Uh, will I be able to get through there? No. Thank you. I love when you just slap me around like that. That's great. Okay, you'll definitely be able to get through there. <laughs> this, is, this is like the worst owl taming video. Come here. Come on, buddy. All right. Okay. You know what? Maybe it's kind of hard to see like the green here. So maybe that should work. I should be able to get through there. Sweet. All right. We could definitely work with that. Let's do that. Take that away. All right, bud. We're going to call you White Owl if we can tame you. Missed. Obviously, uh, we've got Night Owl, which is our like go-to owl name. Um... But before I get myself a Night Owl, I usually call it White Owl because most of them are white. <laughs> uh, okay, come on, buddy. Seriously? Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right. Oh, my God. Into the stupid trap. You stupid owl. Get it. Okay, you know what? That. Okay, never mind. I was about to switch the gates, but that's fine. He's flying away. He'll come back. What do we got in here? I'll take that. And I'll take the hide. Buddy, come on. Are you coming? I don't know if he's going to come back, actually. That should hit. I lied. Uh, okay. Are you, like... Okay. You coming? Are we, are we going back into the trap? Okay, I think we're going back into the trap. Okay, no, he wants to go to the trap. Okay. What's happening right now? All right, okay. So he does want to attack me. Great. You're sending real mixed messages right now, and I don't appreciate it. Stay in the stupid trap this time. Okay. Should be able to get this thing knocked out. I'm going to keep in all this derpiness because I feel like it adds to the video and just shows people think I'm a professional. I'm definitely not. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Let's, let's get you down finally. You need to definitely get tamed here because... Come on, get down. Okay, one more, one more, here we go. Boom, jump shot. All right, should we do a 360? I feel like we should do a 360. Okay, wait, wait, I gotta get like my bearings correct. 
No. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's it. All right. Why did I turn back around to do that? Hell yeah. I feel like that kind of worked. <laughs> All right. Come on, buddy. Get down. I wish I had a magnifying glass. You know, I really had to like train my, my brain to not immediately think that when I'm taming things, I could just hit H and like look at their torpor and everything. Because playing on Genesis has really like confused me. Because I often think, oh, in my head, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I should probably check the torpor, you know, in a minute or whatever. And then I realize, oh, wait, no, I can't do that. I can't do that outside of Genesis. I could add a mod for it, but like, if it's not in the vanilla game, I definitely don't want it. Uh, I feel like that's something that people uh, don't understand about me. <laughs> that type of thing, I don't know. I feel like it kind of breaks the game. I still disagree with the fact that they put that into Genesis, but if it's in Genesis, I'm going to use it. It's just that it's not available anywhere else. So, yeah. Interesting choice, though. Adding that in and then taking it. We're like, only adding it in for that map, I guess. Um, oh, wow. You're dropping pretty quick there, bud. All right. So, we should go take a look for some sheep. I haven't actually seen any at all. So, hopefully, we could find some. And I also need a male. So, we're going to have two breeding females to stock up on a bunch of... Um, on a bunch of owls for, our like, our little pellet farm. So, I don't know. We just need to find a sheep now. And a male. Um, are there any sheep around here? Is that a dead sheep? No, nope, those are not dead sheep. That is a Managarmor, though. What level are you, actually? I should probably be checking. Did that say level 10? I feel like it did. Let me check it again. Although, I don't even know if I want to actually tame one of these. That's the one thing. I, I don't know if it's even worth it. Like, what would I need it for? Because, like, you can't do the Titans with them anymore. Like... I used to do, uh, definitely, like, the Desert Titan. You used to be able to actually laser beam the Desert Titan with the mana from the ground. It was insane, and then they took, you know, the range out, and it's not as good anymore. Um, you could still kind of take it out by just doing a lot of jumping, but now they've taken away quite a lot of the jumps and everything, so that's disappointing. Um... And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I used to... I think I've also, in the past, I've used it against the Forest Titan a little bit, and definitely against the Ice Titan, which was an interesting fight. Um, so yeah, I don't know if they're really like, worth it now to tame. Kind of seems like a whole lot of hassle. I mean, they're pretty easy to tame. If you can get a trap, like, I've got a pretty good method to just get all of its uh, food stat down to zero, basically. I should probably be checking the rest of these owls, actually. What am I doing? Level 45 and a level I don't see. Where are you? 45 and 20, I think. There's like a high level something over there. I don't know what it was. Okay. I realized the wolf was attacking me. Don't worry. All right. Let's see. See, I don't know if they're like really worth it at all nowadays. Kind of seems like something that I really shouldn't bother trying to tame, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you see, the main thing about the Ultimate Arc series is that I really only try to go for creatures that make sense to tame and that fit the narrative and, and kind of fit the you know, the tasks that we need to do. And now if these creatures can't do those tasks for me, for me anymore, then I don't see how they're useful. Level five. Wow. Okay. We're like finding the lowest of low here today. Okay. Come on, bud. Oh my God. You're like almost dead. Let me just hit you and kill you. There we go. Okay. Here you go. There's a lot of mutton for you. Yeah. You're going to get teamed up here. Sweet, and I have a ton to spare as well, so I can go back and cook the rest of that. And there we go. Nice. All right, so we've got two females now. We definitely need that male, though, 100%. So I'm going to continue to look for one. I'm just going to find a low level. I'm going to go ahead and obviously tame it up then, and uh, I'll see you guys back at base later on. Let me grab the rest of that. So we have our three snow owls right now. I managed to actually go ahead and tame a level 10, which is great. And uh, we'll probably just get them breeding, get a crap ton of eggs. Maybe I'll get you breeding as well. We might as well. Um, I'm probably going to aim for maybe something like 20 owls. So we have a lot of pellets constantly. Uh, and I would say probably like in the next episode. What's attacking? Okay. Oh, what? Terror birds. I haven't seen those things here. Weird. Uh, let me go ahead and just deal with this. What is that? Is that a freaking Microraptor? Okay, no, it's not. It's a Ichthyornis. 
There we go. We got a ton of creatures just coming in here. What level are you, buddy? I might actually want one. Although, probably not, to be honest. Because, like, in terms of actually surviving on here, it's been pretty easy. I mean, if you have good creatures, you can just hit up all of the, uh, the little, um, swarms of, like, the tech creatures and everything. And then you can hit this thing up occasionally, and it looks as if it's all spawned back in. I'll go ahead and hit that up in a few minutes. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, we'll probably go for gotchas in the next episode. Maybe breed up, or not breed up, raise up a few owls so we can get a crap ton of pellets together. Uh, can you... Yeah, you can store that in there for 13 days. Sweet. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one.